case you didn't know, China is mahusive. With a population of 1.4 billion, it is the most populated nation on Earth. It is also the fourth largest country in the world by land size and has the second largest economy on Earth only behind the United States of America. China is big, old, new, exciting, scary and fascinating. Over the last few decades, China has gone from a third world country rife with famine and poverty to a global technological powerhouse and will soon become the superpower of planet Earth. The Chinese government has proposed a plan of total global dominance by the year 2049, known as the Chinese Dream or simply China 2049. In 2012, China's president Xi Jinping set out two ambitions. By 2021, the Chinese government would aim to build a moderately prosperous society in all respects, with an emphasis on targeted poverty reduction and elevation measures. By 2049, the Chinese government would aim to build a modern, socialist country that is prosperous, strong, democratic, culturally advanced and harmonious. In 1972, China's economy hit the 100 billion US dollar mark, 500 billion by 1994, and then by the turn of the century is when everything changed. China's economy began to skyrocket like nothing that we have ever seen before, rising from 1 trillion US dollars in the year 2000 to a staggering 14 trillion US dollars in 2019. It is predicted that in 2028, China will overtake the US as the biggest biggest economy on earth, with the COVID-19 pandemic only accelerating this. Like most countries in 2020, China's economy fell off a cliff. Then miraculously, in Q4 of 2020, it returned to pre-pandemic levels. It is difficult to accurately predict a country's future economy. There are many factors which come into play which may hinder or even accelerate a country's growth. But it is estimated by the year 2049, China will have by far the largest economy on earth at an astonishing 50 trillion US dollars, followed by the US with 34 trillion and then India with 28 trillion. China's technological advancements and investments across the world will most likely propel them to become the global superpower a lot faster than anyone anticipated. By the year 2049, China's population will not only have leveled off, but will have fallen. From 1 billion people in 1980 to 1.44 billion at the time of making this video, China's population will level off in the late 2020s at around 1.46 billion before falling to just over 1.4 billion in 2049, and then remarkably, by the year 2100, will have fallen to just over 1 billion. By the year 2100, it is estimated that there will be just under 11 billion humans on Earth. If all goes to plan and China does become as prosperous and strong as Xi Jinping has set out, then birth rates and infant mortality rates will have fallen like nothing that has ever been seen before leading to a monumental decrease in China's population. In the 20th century, it was desirable to have as many boy children as possible to help with manual labor, such as farm work. So if a family had multiple girl children, they would keep on trying until they had multiple boys. This means that when the parents were older, they would have many children to care for them. This mentality is what led to China's population boom, but as China does become a technological and archaeological powerhouse, they rely less on farmers and more on innovators and entrepreneurs, meaning that people focus more on their careers and business than raising large families. High-tech China is inventing the next new thing in frontier technologies. Artificial intelligence, biotech, green energy, robotics, and super fast and highly functional mobile communications, according to a report recently published by Forbes. The article then went on to say, China is no longer copying the US. Now the reverse is true. Facebook has copied WeChat in private group messaging and followed 15 second video app TikTok. Amazon has imitated Alibaba in online retailing. 
Lime has followed China's original Mobike and O4 brands in bike sharing. In the space of a couple of decades, China has gone from the king of copyright and stealing other countries' brands to being the leading innovator in technological advancements. When I was a kid in the 90s and noughties, I always saw Japan as the ultimate tech country, with their wacky inventions and robots. However, in my opinion, this is now China. They have the resources, the brains and the capacity to build technology that can change the planet. With 5G now rolled out across China, enabling mind-boggling network speeds, where will we be in 2049? With a new generation rolling out approximately every decade, we could genuinely be seeing 8G in 2049. When 4G first came out and we saw speeds of 40 megabytes per second, most people thought that is complete overkill. Why would I ever need that? But then as our lives became more and more dependent on technology and we started to become a society of streaming addicts, 40 megabytes per second no longer seemed overkill. 5G can see speeds of upwards of one gigabyte per second. 6G is predicted to see speeds of up to one terabyte per second. So 8G could see us at tens or even hundreds of terabytes per second. Once humans achieve speeds like that, our potential would be limitless. Doctors could perform surgery remotely from anywhere on Earth, AI and automation could be controlled on a planetary scale, and AR slash VR could take us to another planet, literally, in lifelike detail, in less than a second. Now imagine China's population, wealth and prosperous goals combined with this technology. I genuinely think that the next three decades will see humans change and evolve more than the previous 2000 years combined. And now we will end this video with 10 unbelievable facts about China, which will leave you scratching your head. China has six megacities. That's a city with a population of over 10 million people. I think it's fair to say most people have heard of Beijing, Shanghai, and possibly Shenzhen, but I highly doubt many people have heard of Chongqing, Tianjin, and Guangzhou, whose population totals nearly 50 million people combined. To put this in perspective, there are over 100 countries in the world with less than 10 million people. There are 102 Chinese cities with over 1 million people in their urban area. If you were to select one human on Earth, that's nearly 8 billion people, there's an 18.47% chance that they will be from China. There are more people in China aged 75 to 79, that's 25.5 million, than the entire population of Australia. More people have been born in China in the first 78 days of 2021 than there are in the entirety of Mongolia, the 19th biggest country on Earth. China is looking to build a megatropolis called Jingjinji. The megacity, which will be 137 times bigger than London, is set to consolidate Beijing, Tianjin and the Hebei province and would have more than 100 million residents. As mentioned earlier, China's GDP was around 1 trillion in the year 2000. In just 50 years, it is expected to reach 58 trillion. Two thirds of all investments in AI happens in China. China has the second most billionaires in the world, only behind the US. Although strangely, the richest man in China sits 14th in the world. So what are your thoughts on China? Are you worried about their upcoming dominance? Are you excited? Let us know in the comments section below. What do you think the world will be like in 2049? Will World War 3 have wiped humanity out? Will we have a moon base? Will we have a cure for cancer? Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.